here we'll start with a comment from Coach McConnell, then we'll take questions for Hallie Denman and Megan Smith, and then we'll dismiss them back to the locker room, and then we'll take questions for Coach McConnell. So, Coach, statement, please. Um, I, I just think I'm you know, experiencing two things right now. One is um, you know, you're, you're balancing a, a, a tough loss and a season-ending loss um, against a very good team. Very good team. They're, they're, they're special. Um, and they're very difficult to play against and prepare for in only one day. They are impressive in every aspect of the game. They just wore us down. They just, we didn't have an answer inside. Their running game was hitting it on all cylinders. We couldn't keep them from uh, getting to the rim. And, you know, they knocked down some shots. We could never get our defense set. And I thought the first quarter was just, it was their tempo. It was their pace. Um, we, we played too fast, too many quick challenge shots. Um, second quarter was much better, much better. But um, they're just, just a terrific, terrific team. And uh, the other side of it is, for me, you know, I don't want to, sit here and analyze the game and pick apart because I, I want to celebrate these young women and their teammates who are sitting to my right because it's been they're special and it's been my privilege to make this journey with them and to watch them grow and from a good team to an elite eight team and a final four team. So I just told them in the locker room, you know, I just have nothing but love and pride um, for all that they've done and the way they play the game and the way they love and care about one another. So I'm just, uh, my heart's breaking a little bit that this will be the last time that I get to coach Megan and Hallie. I just have watched them grow from, uh, young freshmen who just came in and just contributed to getting in the gym and working hard and, you know, just and to be impact players, impact players. And Megan set the season scoring record tonight. Um, you know, so they're just very special, you know, very special. We'll take a couple questions for the student athletes. is so hard because we're such a close team and um, I don't think you could ask for better teammates. Um, and this journey has just been so special because they're not, ju they're not just my teammates, they're my sisters. You know, we're so close and um, everyone plays for each other and it's just hard for me to explain the chemistry that we have, you know, practice on off the court and games. It's just been so incredible. And, I couldn't ask for a better senior year or better people to play with. Speaking of your senior year, and the coach mentioned that you set the all-time single season record at IUP, uh, scoring record. Um, how did you get that done? What did you have to do to work on your game? And how did you feel to be at the top of that list? That obviously wouldn't happen without you know us winning games. And the reason we won games was because we played like a team. And you know everybody just contributed in so many ways. Hallie was amazing every single game of defense. Lauren was so good at finding people. Carolyn bringing the ball up the floor, scoring. Brittany is our post player. You know, everybody just was a piece of that. And because we could all come together, we got to play so many games. And it was just more fun than I can express. So I think because it was so much fun, I was just able to go out and play free. Uh, Hallie, same thing. I'm just so proud of our whole team. I couldn't ask for better teammates, like Meg said. I feel like we have a special bond with each other. And I'm not only proud of 
who everyone is on the court but off the court. We just have a nice group of girls. And I made some of my best friends here. And it's the best four years of my life. And I couldn't ask for anything else. Sorry. Um, I, I know you're hurting now in this regard as far as the way this game went tonight. Talk about uh, your last few days and how you got through the play with the, the band back that you had. My teammates are always there for me. They're always asking me, how's your back today? Like, how are you feeling? Like, are you good? Like, are you still able to play? Always there for me, coming up to me in the game, after the games, always checking in on me, and that made me try to forget about it and just play for them because I know they're playing for me. Anything else for those student athletes? Just one more thing okay. Uh, how tough was it to just defend those guys tonight, especially down low around the bucket? Yeah, they're really tough. Uh, their post players are the best post players we played against this year. Um, they're very physical. It was hard to get around them. and. I mean, they're 72 and 0 for a reason. All right, thank you, ladies. All right, we'll take a couple questions for Coach McConnell. A lot of hard work, and that's one of the most gratifying things as a coach is to watch a young player um, develop. You know, she came in and she literally shot 16% from the three as a freshman. And so for me, she's such a role model for uh, young players who maybe it doesn't work out initially, but they just stay with it and they just um, persevere and continue to believe and work. And, you know, I think she just really saw the fruits of, of all that hard work. So, and same thing with Hallie. So it's really special. Uh, how did your team, you got banged up in, in the uh, regional tournament. Coming in here, you're not healthy. And, you know, first game first how did you guys continue to get it done? I, I think it just speaks to the grit and the character of the young ladies who put on that uniform. I mean, they just they just have tremendous desire, and um, they've they've played through the injuries. And we, we we talk about you know it's everybody's banged up this time of year. Everybody's tired. You know, everybody has little things going on. And but they just uh, I, I think Hallie mentioned that when you play for each other, you kind of forget about those things. And um, you, you just play. But I mean, literally, there's times when Hallie's in the huddle and she just, tears are coming down because her back's really hurting her. So, um, so there, there's a lot of things to be proud of. You know, there's a, you know, saying that, um, you know, athletics is a school of virtue, you know, and uh, this is a virtuous group of young ladies. I mean, they just have grown and they, they have tremendous character and courage and, you know, perseverance. So I just really, really proud to be their coach. I know you've been asked this probably several times, especially over the last couple of weeks, but was there a point this season that you thought, I think you probably knew you could have a special group, but that you could go on the kind of run that you went on here? You keep asking me that, <laughs> and I keep telling you. I've been asking it all the time. <laughs> and I'll, my answer's the same. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll go on. No, it's okay. <laughs> We just really never let ourselves go there. You know what I mean? We just, and, and I think it's a, um, speaks to their mindset. We'd always talk about the, uh, the mindset of an elite team. A good team gets complacent, thinks they've arrived, feels good about it. A team that's elite stays hungry, keeps moving forward, keeps learning, growing. And that's been our mindset. And we just have great respect for our conference and we knew three or four nights later there was going to be somebody that could knock you off if you didn't play really well. Anything else? Just one more question. Okay. You got something? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Coach, uh, so you yeah. talked about before only having a couple of days to prepare.
prepare for Ashland? And when you were on, you know, you guys were on a great run. So how did you kind of, how hard is it to game plan for a team like Ashland that, you know, has got the speed, you have the post and, and things like that? Teams in their league have had all summer to prepare for them and game plan for them and have not been able to do it. So I'm not sure if more time would have helped us. They're that special. Um, the thing I think is so impressive about them is they're just unflappable. They score, they press you, and they're right into it and they trap. And they don't let you run a play. You can't play against them the things that you do in practice. They force you to make plays. You know, and then you score, and they're running it right back at you. And we just didn't get back quick enough a lot of times and couldn't stop them in transition. So the combination of those two things and their low post game, you know, just was not in our favor tonight. One more. I'm good, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I had to finish it there, right? Yes.